well guys today I'm gonna show you how to update your uh, your Bimertech MMI prime box here um, you got the instructions from them and uh, so first what you need to do is get the files that they'll send you a link for and put them on a an empty flash drive so you take a, a flash drive you know and format it and plug it into the cable here let me show you here quickly so i run the cable from the side that i keep it in the net over there on the passenger side i don't really use it because it's wireless connection so um yeah go ahead and plug it in and then you want to go to the mmi from the actually let me show you so when you're in the iDrive, I mean in the uh, CarPlay, you just want to go, you can go to it from here, or just keep you know, scrolling like earlier before. Anyways, you have to go to the MMI, first we go to the MMI box icon here, now we go to settings, we go to software update. So first you have to do the system update, then you do the MCU update. So to do the system update, you click on this, you confirm, it'll restart. So you go back to the i it'll go back to the iDrive menu here because the box basically turned off and now it's rebooting and looking for the file to update. So it comes back on, it tells you the file version. B2.025T5 MMI.B and it'll you know shows you the loading bar here. Alright. Now that it's complete, it's going to reboot again. So what this does is it, it erases all of your information so um, all of your devices will be erased so now I, I try to you know scroll and it says loading please wait so we'll just wait a little bit until it's done loading the software so let me try here all right so now we can scroll as you can see so now we have to go to the settings we go to uh, software update we do MCU update this one is supposed to be fast. Confirm. This is the red one. So it goes blank. It's not going to show a, a progress bar on this one. It's just going to go blank. And then it'll go to the iDrive menu. And at that point, it should be done. All right, there we go. So now it should be done. There's no other message that will be displayed. So to we have to reboot the box here. Uh, we can't just hit the menu and load the box. We have to reboot the box. So whenever you want to reboot the box, generally, um, you hit the back, press and hold it back. So now we need to reboot it. I'm gonna press and hold it back here. Um, probably takes something like five seconds or so. Just keep pressing it and then you will see there we go alright All right. so now we're good here so now you can check uh, system version it gives you the custom version and the MCU version those are the files anyways now you go to wireless devices um, everything is gone so you have to start all over again so now we need to do that pairing again. You go to your phone, you go to your uh, Bluetooth here menu because it's, this has already been set up before. Um, so you wanna forget the device first. You don't wanna try to connect with an old uh, settings. It's better to just start fresh. Go ahead and forget device. Now we have it here. So now we go uh, wireless pairing. Keep the Bluetooth menu on open on your phone so your phone is discoverable so you go to wireless pairing uh, start search searching 
Now we cannot select the phone until this is done. So once it's done. Okay, now we can go here, we click, and then click with the iDrive wheel. Now we're gonna get some prompts here. Go ahead and pair. Uh, go ahead and allow. So it's doing its thing over there. Um, we probably get another prompt here. Use CarPlay. All right. So now we should be done here. It'll automatically switch. There you go. And that's it. Now you're connected to your um, Apple CarPlay. Uh, whatever features now we have ready, and as you can see, it's completely wireless. Um, now you can disconnect this here, no problem. Don't need it anymore. And that's it. So to exit the CarPlay and go back to the normal iDrive, you just hold this here, so you can toggle between the two. All right. Hope you find this video helpful. And subscribe to the channel for more videos, and let me know if you have any comments in the comment box. Catch you later. Bye. -bye.